Hi everybody, it's Verity here from inkybutterfly.wordpress.com. Thank you for joining me today. I thought um, I would show you my new stuff. So uh, you'll be aware from um, some previous videos that we had a new catalogue go live on the 3rd of June, jam-packed with um, all manner of um, new products, really exciting stuff. So. Um, I thought you'd like to see some of the other products that I was then able to purchase. The pre-order list um, is always limited, so you've seen, so you've seen all of those things. So I just dropped the uh, something there. Let's put that up there. So yeah, look at this stuff. Right. In no particular order, I just thought I'd pull things out of the box. So I've just grabbed um, these ribbons. So when we were going through the catalogue, this ribbon in particular, uh, this is pool party sheer ribbon, I think they call it. Yep, sheer ribbon. This looked amazing in the catalogue. Um, so I'm going to use um, the importance trick to try and find the end of that. Pull, pull that out. Oh, look at that. Really nice, sort of um, a bit like uh, organza ribbon. Really soft um, and, and pale, but really, really lovely stuff that is. And then this is grey granite. What are they calling this one? Shimmer ribbon. So I'm okay, just gonna pull out a. Uh, that out from underneath somewhere so we can see the end there it is this looks fiddly but it, I, I think it's going to be worth it because um, I've done this with a couple of my other spools and it just it does keep them tidier in your um, in your box or whatever wherever you keep them really nice and glossy very nice and the grey granite is a really nice neutral uh, goes with lots of things and then this um, comes as a combo pack this is the uh, playing with patterns ribbon combo so you can see you've got three stools there that will all co coordinate with the, um, the paper that's in the suite so this is all part of a suite so I've got the whole lot of this I couldn't wait to get my hands on these ones um, and these ribbons are Purple Posy, Coastal Cabana and Knight of Navy. Okay, so really nice ribbons. And then uh, the next thing to pull out are some embellishments. So you saw me use the in colour enamel dots. So Magenta Madness, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Cinnamon Cider and Bumblebee all in coordinating enamel dots which are great so you've seen me use those um, these were the gilded gems that um, I um, spotlighted in the catalogue or something that was going to be gorgeous look at them aren't they gorgeous what's that three sizes and you get quite a lot in a pack don't you what does it say 90 there's 90 on there Lovely. These were the other ones. These were the faceted gems. I think these were in the um, the peony suite. We'll, we'll have a look in a minute um, when we're going through things. So can you see? There's like a texture to those. See that? Look at that. Beautiful. So these are. I think they call them iridescent, uh, petal pink, and clear. And there is does it say not uh, again 90 on the sheet so loads of those these go with the patterns okay purple posy is those of the coastal cabana what yellow is that do we know not sure which yellow it is could be daffodil delight by the look of it okay so um these are almost like got a matte finish to them then they're not sparkly per se um, so they're, they're really pretty. I like the purple posy colour. It's a shame that they couldn't get the, um, the ink pads to, 
to the required quality. Um, these are the square vellum doilies. These are also part of that um, that peony suite. And these are vellum. And I quite like the fact that they're square as well. Makes it a little different. Really nice. Aren't those gorgeous? I can see, um, I mean you get loads in a packet. There's 24 in there. I mean you could cut them down, put them in the corners. Um, you could use them as little mini stencils even. So loads of things I think you can do with that. We did get um, one new colour in the stamping blends. This is Melon Mombo. Look, aside from the um, in colours, I didn't get the in colours this round, this uh, on this order. Uh, but having played with some of the other products, I think I'm going to get them on my next one. So um, if you're not familiar, the stamping blends are the alcohol markers that Stamping Up carry. They have a, a brush tip and a bullet tip and they now come as a combo only. You used to be able to get the single colours uh, in the light and the dark but they come as a combo nation um, and it will say on the side there what colour it is so you can, can pick those out. Um, I did pull out a scrap of card because I was just oh, I want to see when you first get them the lids are a little stiff. Mmm, look at that. Melon Mambo is one of my favourite bright colours. I um, really, really like it. So, there we go. Melon Mambo in Stampin' Blends. Yes. And don't forget, of course, you can use them to colour these kind of doily things. You could probably um, colour over the top of those clear gems or even the pearl ones probably as well if you wanted them in a different colour so I've got some stamping blends there's an embossing folder um, called da Dainty Diamonds which again might be part of that peony suite so the pictures on the front are a bit I don't know whether that really tells you what that's going to look like when you emboss it gives you an idea I guess um, but this is it. Is it 3D? Yeah, it's 3D embossing folder, so you need the extra adapter plate to run that through your machine. Sorry about the, <laughs> the ring lights glaring in there, but you get the idea. That's going to be pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's that. In fact, I'm going to put that in my little embossing folder box over there straight away. Look at that, so I don't have that mess to clean up later. Um, there's a couple of punches. So these punches have, have been purchased um, with bundles. So there's there's a stamp set that goes with these. Oh, you can see my see my stamping storage there. Look, it's my stamp storage. <laughs> um, so uh, beautiful tag topper. The scrap of cardstock that I have just so happens to be two inches wide. So. Just like the other tag toppers, two inch strip of cardstock, you get a nice, isn't that a lovely shape? Um, and this goes with, I think it's called Fancy Phrases, we'll see the stamp set in a minute. So lovely tag toppers, I like tag toppers, really really nice products. And then this, what do they call this, square postage label or something? punch to it just a, a, a word when um, you get a brand new punch there may be just a hint of um, like grease or lubricant on there just to make sure it, it works properly so just just punch onto some scrap um, just to be sure you don't get any any of that on your card socket and it, it, it's there just for a couple of punches and it's gone so it, it, will, it, will, it will go away it's not huge um, punch so that's two by one and a quarter-ish, or one and three eighths. So it's not massive, but um, there is, a, like I said, there's a coordinating stamp set with this, with images perfectly sized to go inside that lovely edge. I love punches because they're just so quick and easy to use. 
ink pads yes we have the ink pads now haha <laughs> so I'll just turn those round so you can see the labels so usually when I show you an ink pad I do that and you can see the label when they come to you they don't have the labels on so let's have a quick look at how we do that so there we are magenta madness bumblebee just jade misty moonlight cinnamon cider beautiful so they, they come all wrapped up like this so let's get that plastic off there we are. and then on the back there is um all the um the labels for the different markets uh, in the different languages and then there's a plain one this one at the bottom is plain uh, and that's to go on the inside so this sheet peels away I want that one I'm just gonna put that on I'll stick it to me and then yeah, I don't use it <laughs> so if you, and if you take off these um, labels entirely if you don't have the stamping storage your ink pads stack without um, slipping so it's worth getting that off um, this one has been particularly awkward usually they come off a little cleaner than that but you get the idea you can get that stuff off and there's the English one for me and I've got the plain one there we don't need those ones although it is funny seeing what is it Cidra a Cinella is the French for that I've got, the, I've got this mysterious Bruna <laughs> That's probably a terrible pronunciation. Sorry, French people out there. Um, so this um, label will just go on the front so you can see when they're stacked up or in your storage which ink pad you are picking up. And then all oh, these will be stiff because they're new. Oh, they are. And this one goes on the inside here because when you open ink pads, they don't look, they all look quite dark. It could all be brown for all you know so that little thing in there just gives you an idea so if you've got several stamp pads open you, you can tell exactly uh, which ones you're using okay so let's go so fresh out the packet the, the lids will be a little bit stiff so you know get them used and open them up so yes matching ink pads fabulous we like that so again I've got my storage in front of me um, so um, I kind of put them in I put them in rainbow order so uh, I, I do the Richard of York one and then we'll have the pink and we'll put the brown at the bottom there we go they're ready in my stamping storage okay Ooh, here's the playing with patterns six by six paper pack. Get this open. I like the six by sixes. I sometimes feel like I'm not sure what to do with a full um, twelve by twelve. But obviously, if you're a scrapbooker, those twelve by twelves are amazing. So, as the name suggests, playing with patterns has patterns. Okay, so what have we got here? Spots and swirls and stripes and mixtures. Loads. Is that how many sheet, how many different patterns have we got? There's loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, that's got to be 12 then, hasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different patterns. And you'll get, because there's 48 I think in the pack, so you must get four of each. Look at that. Look at that. Love those spots, look at those. So these, that's pretty. Look at all the colours. Ooh. I know someone who will like that. We like rainbows. So 
almost, uh, that's quite masculine and sort of marinous and stuff like that. So there you go. Oh, look at the, how that matches with the ribbons. Wonderful. That's the a wonderful thing about stamping up. Everything goes, you know it's going to go because it's designed to go. I love those. On the packages it will tell you which colours are incorporated in the pack. So what have we got? We've got Calypso Coral, coral even. Uh, we always know it's Coastal Cabana. Oh, the yellow must be crushed curry. So on those um, gems, it's not Daft Light, it must be crushed curry. Night of Navy, Purple Posy, Whisper White. So the only colour that's not re really represented in the other bits and bobs is the um, Calypso Coral. So that must be that. So that's that orange colour that's coming through on um, on here. That's clips I've got. Awesome. Love them. Love them. So those go in this box to my left where all my 6x6s go. Okay. So now I've got a whole load of stamp sets and dies. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, in roughly there. Look at this. Hippo Happiness. What a great title. This has dies called Hippo and Friends. Right, I'm going to be completely honest. This did not grab me straight away because I don't generally do cutesy thingies. But it warmed to me and I thought, oh, actually, it's got some cute sayings on it and everything. So, you know, let's give it a go. What is it? It's photopolymer. Oh, it's just the same. So if you're not familiar with the different types of stamps, these are absolutely crystal clear, which means you can position them um, exactly where you want them. And have a protective sheet on them. So that protective sheet stops the UV light getting to them and making them go yellow. And right, so yeah, so I wasn't enamoured with the stamp set straight off, but you wait till you see these guys. Oh, I just thought, I love those. So, you know, you may as well get a bundle. Because you do, because you save 10%, don't forget. So, not only do you get dies to cut out the little animals, there's also this little, these little things to create ribbon slots. But look at that nested frames so these seem to have like um, uh, an embossed edge to them you know a bit like um like an engraved photo frame kind of thing and then we've got the double um dot dots on those so the inny and the outy will have dots around the edge and then these ones are stitched double stitched brilliant so I, I just I really really wanted the labels as much as anything in this one it's a cute squiggle there actually that's cute cool. that's cute and um, butterfly flowers so um stamping up often will give you these little teeny dies where you're likely to be multiple doing multiple cuts they will provide you with extra dies so there's three flowers and there's two leaves and then oh the little teeny tiny unicorn horn <laughs> okay, so those are the dies for those. If I don't put these back in the packet now, I'm going to get, end up in a mess. So when I put them back in the packet, I leave the the sheet at the front. But I leave the dies so I can see them because you don't always know what's in your packet if you put them back together um, with the with the sheet. I'm going to run out of space. I don't have the whilst I have room. <laughs> To craft in it isn't a big room oh these are the peony dies so let's find the ah oh, yeah we came straight to it and this is the matching stamp set so this is a cling stamp set so it's come comes on red rubber sorry the light comes on red rubber um, and inside you get a sticker sheet which makes them cling to your um, stamp block more securely than they would do without uh, the the um, rubber itself is mounted onto a grey sponge foam which 
gives you cushioning on your stamp which helps you get a nice crisp image and there's just a, um, a release paper on there um, so this grey foam is tacky in itself this isn't the right size block but you'll get the, you get the picture but it they will stick to your block without the, the cling if you don't want to use the cling um, I know I've seen recently um, Sally Stampers did a video on how to get your cling stickers onto your stamps so if you wanted to search for her she, she's just recently done a video on that they come in uh, stamps come in DVD cases which um, if you're so if you're wondering about how you can store your stamps uh, if you get like a DVD rack or you have a cupboard that's designed for DVDs um, that's perfect and then flush out the box and then these are the dies so we've, um, so there is some that do coordinate with the stamp set so this this one that's that stamp I've just pushed out we've got a nice border to go in there that will go with the stamp set these other elements will build a 3D flower. Okay, um, I have not um, explored how that works yet, but I've seen some really, really gorgeous samples. In fact, let's grab the catalogue and see if I can. I'm sure there's a picture in the catalogue of the 3D flower made up. Let's use the trusty index price p and e is what we want uh 84 oh no there isn't a picture oh yes there is there right oh there's a couple actually Let's see see that how they've built up a three-dimensional flower isn't that amazing? Oh, and the leaves, the leaves layer as well. Isn't that amazing? So that looks like they've cut it in petal pink cardstock. Whereas this one, this looks like it's been cut in white um, cardstock, but then had some ink applied over the top. Oh, come on, you focused earlier. Come on. There we are. Gorgeous, huh? So that's something to play with. I'll let you know how I get on with that. So that's prized peony. Now what have we got? Oh, this die set. Totally. I was. I think. I think this is really clever. Sorry, just rummaging for the appropriate stamp set. Like I said, I didn't sort them out pr prior to. And it, of course it's the last one I come to because <laughs> it is um, this comes in a bundle with best year so best year uh, I like because it's just sentiments and sentiments are just you know are a key on you on your cards so I'm a card maker so sentiments are, are a big thing for me and we've got some nice sized ones here are these 100% doesn't say they're shrunk so yeah so that's how big they are So that thank you is a nice size. It must be about. Just use my grid paper to have a look. It's probably getting on for three inches, maybe two and three quarter inches long. So it's a nice size sentiment. Red rubber, so you'll get a nice clean image. So we've got something for Christmas as well, and we've got something for dads because obviously Father's Day is coming up. We've got Happy Birthday on, and that. Oh, Happy Father's Day as well. So really nice, versatile. Uh, sentiments on there haha <laughs> best plaid oh this I couldn't believe it when I saw these I was like oh, oh. what a brilliant idea so this might be um, one that I get out and play with soon Ooh, we've got multiple sheets doesn't look exciting does it um, you're going to die cut, use these, and you'll be able to layer them together to make plaid cardstock. 
dimensional plaid cardstock. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. I'm just trying to think what colours to do it. So our Scottish contingent, I'm sure, will have... Oh, mind you, it's not tartan, is it? Plaid and tartan aren't necessarily the same thing, I don't think. I'm sure my Scottish friends will tell me. Um, but yeah, so again, let's flick to the... Um, Yeah. One, three, three. So I don't know whether this gives you a, more of an idea of what I'm talking about. So that's what you that's what will cut, and then you layer them together to make your your plaid. How amazing! So yes, very much looking forward to using that. Uh, what's the next die? Field tiles, which goes with today's tiles. Remember, if you buy a bundle, you save ten percent. So this just spoke to me. We um, we have friends that we um, play board games with, and there's a great game that we play called Azul, which is a tile placing game, and the tiles are really nicely decorated. So when I saw this, it reminded me of that game. Um, but I really like um, building backgrounds and things, um, so this is a two-step stamp, so these will layer on top of each other so you can get multiple colours and different looks of that. In fact, there is a challenge going on, on, on um, in one of the Facebook groups at the moment for a black and white challenge. This might be the one that I use. Um, again, some cool sentiments. Everything will be okay. Now that's cool, isn't it? For, for right here and right now and I thought Namaste was actually quite um, quite cute as well with everyone not being able to do the whole handshaking thing at the moment. Um, photopolymer so like I say you'll be able to line up those colours, those stamps over each other to get different colours. The, um, the dies again are the, probably don't look as interesting as um, the samples look in the catalogue. A nice decorative elements that you can layer together. You've got a nice long strip there which is nice as well for, for sentiments, smaller one there. So another nice versatile um, die set there. I do love labels and, and things like that, just things that can add detail to your, your projects without being fussy, necessarily. If you want first, that's great. Playful Alphabet is the, um, the set that goes with Pattern Play, so that's the suite of products that I've shown you, the, those gorgeous ribbons and that, that really lovely 6x6 paper all in the playful patterns suite of products so uh, how much is that suite so I keep flicking back to the catalogue but you know this is all very impromptu I've just decided to just come on and show you stuff so um, playful patterns it's a good job the index is really really useful isn't it um, playful patterns oh pattern play is what I should be looking for 102 So it's a whole suite of products, yeah, so it's $77.25 for the whole lot, that includes the, the bundle, the ribbons that I've showed you, the resin dots I've showed you, and the designer series paper, as well as some cute mini, they call them paper pumpkin boxes, they're like, um, they're kind of like a pizza star box but they're not square, um, I do have them, so in a minute I'll, uh, you, you'll see those, but that's the that's them pictured there. They're probably about I don't know, about five, six inches long, something like that. Um, so you get all of that for seventy-seven twenty-five. So everything coordinates. Um, and of course, the alphabet means you can act, you can make whatever sentiment you like out of those to decorate your projects. Um, it would be a great thing to put in a starter kit. So you've got. Um, 
so you can add that in there so really cute patterns to layer up make backgrounds out of and then um, really nice bold one. Oh, we've got um, C's with accents on. I don't know what they're called. But any, if you... Oh, and we've got the O-E together. Uh, is that a Greek letter? Do we have numbers as well? Yes, we have numbers. Okay. So, lots and lots of things that we'll be able to do with that. We've got punctuation as well. The exclamation marks, little square brackets. Um, some dots there which probably could be used as umlauts as well ampersands equal signs great so open to your imagination there in terms of how you want to use that to create your own sentiment and the last die set i've got is love you more than ah love you more than i don't think i this goes with this stamp set this stamp set um, <laughs> I thought it was really really cute it's, it's not generally my style of thing but I really liked the idea that you could have you could combine the sentiments um, you know because ad adulting is hard I think that's really funny a day without coffee you know and <laughs> um, this is one of the stamp sets that's been um, designed or has had collaboration with one of our million sellers so this is actually one from Connie Stewart I believe so she's an American demonstrator she's on YouTube and stuff she does a great top tip shoes day video and, and things like that really really lovely lady um, and I, I, I totally see her in this stamp set and, and how it's been um, designed so really really like that there's some lovely samples in the catalogue I'm not going to bring the catalogue out again but you, you can imagine um, all the colours you could put in that cocktail glass and all those chocolates and cookies and things really nice and then those are the coordinating sets I really liked the fact we had the words so love you more than and then you can do coffee, cookies, chocolate and cocktails and then we've got the image dies there as well So that's it. So those are all my bundles and then I've got some other individual sets here. So <laughs> I was surprised when I placed my order that it told me that I'd qualified to um, basically win this one. So, uh, so I hit a sales target um, and this was actually complimentary. So one of the perks of being a demonstrator and, and, and joining in Stamping Up um, is that you do get freebies and rewards and all sorts of little goodies goodies and this is one of them so um this is called comfort and hope it was one that i had my eye on anyway because again it's got these textured backgrounds which i really really like um this is cool because it means um uh, all the metallic threads been retired and this will give the impression of thread behind um sentiments which is something that I do sometimes and then I don't know whether the will it focus oh yeah right there right look at that the little sequins and little rhinestones how cute are those okay really lovely um red rubber stamp set so that that's gorgeous um loyal leaves I like leaves so um tropical chic retired which i wasn't very very pleased about but we got um the green reset forever fern so that was nice um but we also carry something um a stamp set called rooted in nature got trees and leaves on it as well and then so when i saw another leaf set i was like oh yes we'll have that really lovely you are my hero i think that's quite a nice sentiment for where we are right now a really nice loyalty sentiment missing you isn't that nice older and wiser oh, how cute 
So looking forward to using those. They're almost like, um, do you remember if, if you're a long season crafter, do you remember skeleton leaves that you never knew what to do with? Okay, well we've now got them in stamps. I shall work out what we're going to do with that. I do have an idea what I'm going to do with it. Watch this space. Um, posted for you. This is the one that goes with the postage label punch. So uh, one, two, these three in particular have been sized to go inside that punch. Really, really cute. Nice to colour in. Um, you could even probably use them as um, envelope decoration. Okay, so long as it doesn't obscure um, the actual postage and and details that should be fine. Uh, is that red rubber? Yes, red rubber. And um, then the other punch went with fancy phrases. So this is the one that goes with the tag topper. Okay. Um, this is very much styled um, like um, a paper that we had uh, probably last year. So that's very gorgeous. Looking forward to using my stamping blends on that. And again, we've got some really great sentiments. Um, so I count you twice. Isn't that lovely? A little something just for you. Ah, really nice. Really so I do, I do like to have plenty of sentiments. Um, so with a large order as well. Um, once you get beyond 150 pounds, you start collecting stamping rewards. So. Um, that's basically um, not fifteen percent. Ten percent of the value of your order comes back to you to then redeem um, with other products in the same order. Um, at the moment, we've got the promotion though. Remember, so if you were a host, you want to um, place an order of two hundred pounds or more, you'll get an extra twenty pounds of reward on top of that. So bear that in mind as well. Um, so one of the things I got with my rewards was this stamp set. Um, I really like this because it says we're proud of you. I like that. Um, have we still got the one with proud on it? There's another stamp set that says about being proud um, somewhere. I don't know whether it's retired or not. But I like that and I think people need reminding that, that they've made you proud and that they're doing the best they can and, and congratulating them on whatever achievement they've got. So got a cute mortarboard in there as well and well deserved round of applause isn't that cute is that one stamp yeah it is so whatever achievement someone's um managed during these interesting times that we're, we're going through at the moment i thought this was really really nice so um i essentially got that for free as i did this one so as, as i just alluded to um we we do have um, friends that we game with, so um, I, I thought this was quite appropriate, it's particularly the dice, um, a lot of dice games and things. Um, and then uh, my daughter really likes playing chess with Grandad, and we've recently learnt how to play backgammon, so there's, there, there was a couple of images there that I thought were actually really, really cute, and the samples in the, um, the catalogue are nice. The red rubber stamp, cling stamp. So again, I got that completely free with my rewards. And then I've saved this one because um, I wanted to show you that um, we do have a beginner brochure um, and at the moment, which is available online to view. If you want to have one, let me know. Um, but the zany zebras, adorable, number one. Aren't they cute? I do kind of wish there were dyes with them, though, to be fair, but you can't have it all. Um, cute sentiments, lovely little little zebras, aren't they adorable? Um, however, in the um, beginner catalogue, this stamp set features um, in a collection of products that you can get all together. Some nice little samples there. So um, you will get a Memento ink pad, so this is mine, my well-loved Memento ink pad. This is a water-based ink pad, really nice for stamping out these outline images. And of course the little dudes, um, you know, traditionally are black and white, so stamping in black would be, would be great, although you don't have to. You get a D-block, 
Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you will see I use D blocks all the time. So, just a quick chat about acrylic blocks. The acrylic blocks are amazing, is the only word for it. I've used so many different blocks that are funny shapes and round and thin and fat and all this. These are a beautiful weight. Um, this needs desperately cleaning. It would be nice and see through. <laughs> They come in like a cellophane and they come out and they're all nice and sparkly. Um, etched with the, the size on there as well so that you, you know which one you're using. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you know which one to pick out because um, it, often it will say in the catalogue um, which block is recommended with the set. Um, so they're a nice weight, they've got this comfort grip around them, they're really easy to use really really lovely so you get one of those you get some whisper white cardstock whisper white cardstock is our um, base cardstock super smooth for stamping on so you'll get a good image get some dimensionals if you've seen a YouTube video of mine before you will know how much I love dimensionals um, and you also get watercolor pencils so I don't have the specific um, I'm just gonna grab a couple out of my drawer so I don't know which assort I, I've got. There are two packets in the catalogue, so I don't know which ones uh, go in each one. But you, you, let me just talk you through it. Um, so they will have the the colour on there very clearly uh, printed, which colour they are. So that happened to be a cherry cobbler one. What have we got here? Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mumbo and Gorgeous Grape. Okay. Um, they, they, you, can use a, you can use them as they are. You can blend them out with Wink of Stella for extra sparkle. You can use blender pens or a damp paintbrush to get um, a watercolour look to your your um, your project. So um, so in this brochure, what they've done is they've bundled all of those things together. You can buy individually, so this is available individually at eighteen pounds. But if you wanted something to get you started, um, you could buy the whole lot as a kind of mini kit if you like. For fifty-six pounds, okay. So really nice um, little set to get someone started. And if you were looking, um, uh, if you're already a crafter and you're looking for something for a gift for a friend to get them started, this might be something that you might want to consider as well. Okay. So that's that's the beginner brochure. A um, couple of different collections in there. If you want one, let me know. And then not too much more to go. Not too much more to go. Um, I got two of these card kits, so I got a half price product as well. So I got one of these for half price. This is also in the beginner catalog. Simply citrus. This is a, see how beautifully it's packaged. I'm not going to open this um, to show you exactly, but isn't it a lovely box? What is it? It's it's nine and a half inches. Well, nine inches square. Beautiful package. So it would be great as a gift if you wanted to send something to someone if they're a bit stuck for what to do whilst we can't, well we can go out but you know, everywhere's shut isn't it? So this is Simply Citrus, it's an all inclusive card kit which will make 15 cards and is only £30 so very affordable. You get a lovely little stamp set. Um, and then it will make 15 cards and there are three each of five designs so this page will show you what the cards look like so there are pre-printed cards really nice zingy colors i should imagine in there you get all these all these little panels which are already colored and die cut you've got coordinating envelopes you've got some little um glue dots and little they all they might even be see, um vellum thingies and some twine some little panels to stamp your sentiments on so a really really lovely kit you always get a little block in there and oh what color do you think that might be it could be oh, looks like knight of navy it's very small in the picture a knight of navy ink spot so it's like a little mini ink pad which are about i don't know they're about an inch like a little cube um ink but it's exactly the same ink that's in our regular um, stamp pads so no uh, no lesser quality 
so that is what is in Simply Citrus so I think that's a really cute um, starter kit for somebody uh, I'll just quickly show you these in the package so these are the, uh, the pizza boxes or what do they call them? mini paper pumpkin um, boxes I'm just looking for a ruler so may um, so they're all pre-scored for you to fold together um, and they're gonna their finished width is going to be five and a half by just under four three and three quarters so that's the size they will be the depth will be an inch so that's the finished size once you've made them up so you you'll be able to spritz them, spray them, stick paper to them, wrap them in bows, all that kind of stuff you get. How many do you get? There's ten in a packet. Um, I can imagine these being really useful um, if um, <laughs> if we ever are able to have parties again. But they'd be really good for little um, gift boxes for kids parties and things like that. So, and, and these are the ones you get in the pattern play um, suite. Okay, those are the ones that we in there and finally the last thing in the bottom of the box so it didn't get creased um, is the, um, the peony stamp set what do they call it peony garden right so this is a 12 by 12 paper pack um, is it 12 sheets yeah 12 sheets so that usually means there's 60 designs and two of each palette on this is um, petal pink, grey granite and smoky slate. Okay, so there we are. We've got some lovely patterns there. That looks, um, that could go really nicely with um, the tiles one I think as well. Um, that's pretty. And I, I would say that's actually quite, um, you could probably get away with that for a masculine card as well, actually, with the neutral. And that shimmer, where's that shimmer ribbon? Beautiful. Okay. Um, so that's that one. And we've got this one. So you could colour over the top of um, this one if you wanted to, if you wanted to add some of the, a different colour. That's all like chevrons. That's cute. Again, boys. The boys in our life. A nice pink texture card. Oh, that's stunning. Isn't that lovely? The, the catalogue pictures don't always do, do the papers too much justice. But that is gorgeous. It's almost like um, a negative. You know when you see... Um, um, anybody, is anybody old enough to know, um, to have looked at negatives back from Fujifilm or whoever? Um, that's what that reminds me of. And then this one's got um, like a marble kind of texture to it. But, well, it's not textured, but it's got the effect. That's nice. Another one that could be done, could be for the boys. Oh, another one to colour in. Really nice. Oh, running out of space. Hang on, running out of space. Then we've got pink flowers that are a bit smaller. Oh, and then just an outline image. Very nice. Depending on how you layer that, you could almost even disguise that it's flowers. It would just look like, you know, a white outline. And this is the final one. Another one that we could colour in. There's um, there's a lady um, in one of our Facebook groups who, who does all kinds of beautiful art. I can see her colouring this in. Hello Martin. Oh, and then we've got something very generic there in just a marble effect. What a great pack of paper. I can, that's very versatile. But sometimes they can be a bit fluffy and you know, you're not sure what to do with them. Um, I'll put that back in the packet in a minute. Okay, how did you like that then guys? So, oh, I've buried my catalogue now, so you'll have to just have to see my hands. Hi! Um, I hope you liked that little run through. I do love these. 
um, of what I've got. Uh, watch this space for um, me using all those things to make pretty stuff. Well, I hope it's pretty. I hope you think it's pretty. Um, if you do want a catalogue, which I've now buried under all kinds of other things, let me know. Um, you can go to my uh, website thinkybutterfly.wordpress.com and um, there are links to the catalogue you can order straight from there um, as well please drop by see what I'm up to and uh, if you like these videos and you want to see more from me you know like subscribe all that jazz find me on Instagram you can find me on Facebook and I hope to see you there soon so in the meantime have a great day sun's actually out this weekend by the looks of it so um hopefully you can enjoy that as well and i'll see you again soon thanks a lot for joining me today bye